What's going on, people? I want to briefly talk on pigeons. We heard that song before. We don't want no pigeon. Now, I hate making videos like this. I really hate um, the wars between sexes, between black men, black women, constantly going at each other. The men aren't really making that many videos towards or directed towards so-called black women. But black women are constantly making videos towards so-called black men. Now, I just happened to kind of skim past this video. I didn't watch it, just saw the title. And the title of that video was, Stop Listening to Men Who Can't Afford to Date You. Stop Listening to Men Who Can't Afford to date you. Now, there are brothers, so-called black men, just throughout time. I grew up in a different age. But I grew up in an age where if a man met a young lady, whether she's broke, whether she's on welfare with multiple kids, you have brothers that would, if they were interested, they got with the woman, they help take care of her children. They help to upgrade her. They help to give her a come up. And then in many cases, once that female got her come up or she was upgraded, then she becomes too expensive for men, okay? Um, I can't be with this kind of man unless he makes this kind of money. I can't be with this kind of man unless he drives a certain type of car. I can't be with a certain man. You get the point, right? So she ended up with a dude that's a good dude, doing what he can to take care of her and her kids. Then comes another dude with a better car or maybe a little bigger bank account. She ends up cheating on this dude or leaving him for this other dude. And then she talks about what he can't do for her. Although when he met her, she had nothing. She had nothing but public assistance. She was collecting that welfare. And she was talking about while she's on welfare, she's talking about how independent she is and how she don't need a man. But yet this man comes along and with his few pennies, his few dimes, he helped to upgrade her. He helped her to get her hair done. He helped to clothe her children, children that's not even his. He took care of that woman, took care of those kids, and then she got up on her feet and she became too good for him. So now we're living in a time when these females are always talking about equal rights. So now that everything is quote unquote equal, men are not really required to do what men are supposed to do, because if they do, they are looked at as being thirsty. They're looked at as being dusty, right? They have all these little names that they have for these brothers, whereas before they had nothing. And most of these females that talk about what they look for, man, don't have nothing themselves. So they expect this guy that's got his own business, that's making a certain amount of dollars, to come along and then pull you up out of the ghetto and you get on Instagram and social media and make it look like you got something. And then when he meets you, you broke, right? So this is a message to all the young brothers out there. See, I know better. Brothers like me, we know better, see, because we've been around a while. And of course you have some dudes out there, there's some older cats out there that's tricking and that's all they doing is tricking. That's all they want from these young girls, man. They don't want nothing else. They're not trying to build nothing with her, right? But for you young brothers that's coming up, you don't want no pigeon, man. You don't want no pigeon, man. Listen, stop giving these females any type of attention or time because you spend your time spending money on her, spending money on her kids, helping her with her kids from different multiple baby daddies, right? You're giving her encouragement and making her feel better about herself 
And then once you finish blowing her head up, now she's too good for you. She don't need you anymore because now dudes wouldn't pay her no mind before because she was a pigeon, right? They may have thrown her a few crumbs and she probably picked them up. You know how the pigeons work, kind of picked them up, right? But then you come along, swept her off her feet, right? Made her, and I shared a story before when I was young, me and my cousin, we got into a fight, right? Love my cousin to death, right? To this day, he had this little GI Joe, right? And I'm comparing this GI Joe with these pigeons out there. He had this this GI Joe that had no arms, no legs, no clothes, just a head and a torso, and I think it had like one leg, the one leg GI Joe. So Donnie, his name is Donnie. Donnie threw the GI Joe away, right? So I happened to come by my cousin's house. And I saw that one-legged GI Joe with no arms, one leg, no clothes, right? So I took the GI Joe, cleaned him up, you know, use some alcohol, clean the GI Joe. And because of the fact I'm an artist, I draw, paint, sculpture, do stuff like that. That was my talent, my gift that I came in the world with. So I took that GI Joe, took him home because Donnie threw him away. He didn't want it. So I took that G.I. Joe, made him some legs, made him some arms, made him some clothes. I put clothes on the G.I. Joe, some masculine clothes, right? Because it's a G.I. Joe. Put some masculine clothes on the G.I. Joe. Donnie came over one day and he saw that G.I. Joe and he wanted it back because that G.I. Joe was looking good. Man, Donnie got upset. He was yelling, he was screaming, he was bitter angry because he wanted that G.I. Joe back. And I said, man, you threw it away. You didn't want it. It had no arms. It had one leg. It didn't have any clothes. And when he saw that G.I. Joe again, it was looking good. So that's how it is with a lot of these pigeons out there. A lot of these chicks got no arms, <laughs> one leg, no clothes. Their hair ain't dead, right? And then you come along, you help her out because you genuinely like this girl, right? And so you help her out, you know, you help buy food for her kids and kids need winter coats or whatever. You have, you, you, you to take care of them. You got dudes like that. I wouldn't do that, but you got dudes like that. And then she get up on her feet, start looking good. Other dudes start paying her attention. And now she don't have time for you. She end up cheating on you. Right. So young brothers out there, don't waste your time with no broke pigeon. It's not worth it. They have nothing going for them. They claim they, they're what you call ghetto fabulous because they talk about how fabulous they are. They may have their hair all dead and their nails and they use these filters online to make them look like what they're really not. And then when you meet them in person, and the number one, the number one thing you have to look out for is these females that get online and always got a height, like that's the old word that old folk used to use when I was growing up. They heist their butt up, right? And so they get on, they get on Instagram and Facebook and they heist their butt up. And all you can see is their butt, right? All you see is that butt. And that butt hypnotize you, right? Because that's all she's showing you. Right. So she hikes up her butt and you get you get full of lust. The next thing you know, you inboxing her, trying to holler at her and then, you know, meeting with her, spending all this money. You drive up in your car, picking her up. She's a pigeon and she's on the side in the passenger side and you take her out to eat. And another thing, too, a lot of times when you take these pigeons out, watch how they eat, man. At first, they try to pretend like they're modest and I just want a salad. Right. And they know. That they their stomach is playing tags of their back. They want more than a than a than a salad, right? And then when you really see them eat, they be just any kind of seed you put down there, they that's what them pigeons do, right? So, brothers, stop wasting your time with these pigeons, these broke behind pigeons, these welfare pigeons 
These pigeons got multiple children by different baby daddies. You don't want these pigeons. Don't waste your time. It's not worth it. Because at the end of the day, you may get that pigeon pregnant and she's going to take you to child support. She going for broke to try to get everything that you got because you dropped some pigeon mess, right? Or better yet, you didn't do it. She dropped some pigeon mess. And now you got to pay child support for that pigeon mess, right? So just thought I'd comment on that. I just happened to see that title, felt I'd make this video. So don't waste your time with these broke pigeons. Feedback, tell me what you think till next time. I'm fearless.